explain to you the satanic agenda of non-dispensationalism. Non-dispensationalists are preparing people to take the mark of the beast. Let me show you this. For our Second Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty-one and twenty-two. Now he which establisheth us with you in Christ hath anointed us is God, who hath also sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Ephesians one thirteen says the same thing. Go there. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, you are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. And of course, Ephesians 4.30 says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed until the day of redemption. You're sealed. You can't lose your salvation. Well, this makes a problem for non-dispensationalists, because many of them also believe we're going to go into the time of Jacob's trouble. They're post-tribbers. Revelation 14 9 through 11. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture in the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. You got a problem there. Ephesians 1.13, Ephesians 4.30, and First Second Corinthians 1.21, and 22 says, I'm sealed, but Revelation 14 says, if I take the mark, I go to hell. So which is it? See, non-dispensationalists, they're going to be preaching eternal security in the time of Jacob's trouble. So people basically give you of eternal security because what they say is that salvation has been the same throughout every dispensation. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I can just take the mark and still be saved. You see, it's satanic. They're going to be preaching eternal security in the time of Jacob's trouble. Right now, in the church age, I'm sealed. But in the time of Jacob's trouble, if I go in there, which obviously we're being resurrected before that, uh, if I go in there, I can I guess I can take the mark and become unsealed, or somehow, I guess I'm still sealed somehow. And they'll say, of course, what they always say is, well, no true Christian would take the mark. Okay, here's a question. Here's how you stump them on this. If a true Christian knows it's the mark and willingly, willfully takes it anyway, are they still saved? Because... The verse says, if any man takes, not just lost people, if any man takes the mark. So even if if Christians won't be deceived in taking the mark, it still doesn't mean they can't take the mark and, and keep their salvation. Or sorry, it still doesn't mean that they can take the mark and not lose their salvation. So if a true Christian takes the mark, knows it's, knows it's the mark, and takes it anyway, are they still saved? Answer that one. His Revelation 14 says, if anyone takes it, they get God's wrath. But how does that work? Because Ephesians 1.13 says, I'm sealed with the Holy Spirit. Which is it? It's a big contradiction there. non dispensationalists it's it's preparing people to take the mark of the beast. Because they're going to get people thinking they're saved by faith alone and they have eternal security, so they can just take the mark and, and still be saved. It's satanic. So don't be deceived by non-dispensationalism. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Goodbye.